Thomas Deacon Academy is a large um, secondary school in the middle of Peterborough. We have two and a half thousand students here uh, of a very multicultural background. When I started here two and a half years ago as head teacher, I was really struck about the difference that having a CCF made here in the academy. And I think I've built upon that and tried to develop it and use it to change the culture and ethos of the way in which our young people work and their attitude towards learning, their attitude towards their community and the way in which they perceive themselves as citizens in the 21st century. I'm the contingent commander of um, Thomas Deacon Academy and at the moment I have an army section I have a um, RAF section and a police section, and we're probably running at about 120 cadets now. Santa Parade night could vary from anything from uh, sitting in the lesson room, do it going over basics of command, to running around the field with uh, radios or going flying for a night. And the beauty about CCF, it's a level playing field. That means they're not set at bottom set, top set. They don't know how to march, they don't know how to use a weapon, they don't know anything about campcraft, so they're all the same. And once they're all in that same boat, whatever communities they come from, they're bringing that to the same table, and then they're learning together. For our main academy students, it's something young people see as having real value in their lives. Um, I think nowadays young people look for a, a sort of a moral framework and the CCF often provides our young people with that, irrespective of their background, irrespective of their faith. I believe if they can get through the CCF, they go for a job interview, they go to go to college or university, they always come across better and we're putting better students and people into society through the CCF. I am a staff sergeant now, which gives me the chances to teach lower ranks and recruits. It is a tremendous thing. It gives so many opportunities, so many activities to put on your CV. It is truly such a beneficial project. I've had students here that effectively were going to be removed from the school, but if it wasn't for the CCF, they've stayed in and I think that's a massive achievement. I've had cadets that weren't going to pass GCSEs who are now in the sixth form. I don't need to motivate students and staff to take part in the CCF. It sells itself. It is something that we have more than enough people who want to take part. So at the moment we have 11 adult volunteers and it, it is quite easy to recruit them and uh, they enjoy every aspect of the CCF. For them, it's an opportunity, A, to do different qualifications and to B, to get results out of students. Because let's face it, we're trying to change the results of the people inside that building. The local community at first were quite interested in the CCF because they thought it was a novelty in a state school. But actually as the CCF has grown and developed, they ask them more and more to get involved with community activities. Again, it's a really positive way in which they can interact with young people and it gives young people a way in which they can talk to older people in the community and also seem less threatening. It definitely develops how you perceive people and yourself as when you work as a team you get to see other people's qualities shine as well as having a lot of introspection so you do find out a lot about yourself that you probably didn't know before. It has changed my life and I hope it changes the lives of many people in the future. Find passionate people that want to lead it and run it. It's not a football club, it's not a chess club, it becomes part of the fabric of the school. Once it becomes a fabric of the school it will be the, one of the great foundation blocks that you'll have. If any school is thinking about starting a CCF, I would say to them, go for it. It really does change the way in which people think about young people. It changes your community's perception about you and your work as a school. It changes parents' perception about the school. But most of all, it changes young people's perception about who they are and who they can be and what they can aspire to do.